this is Steve uh, in the repair department. Today we'll be looking at the new Brocock Capato. And what we're going to be doing is take a look at whenever you have an issue with maybe the rifle leaking at basically the one-way inlet O-ring. Sometimes the piston O-ring uh, will need to be replaced. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. You can't unscrew the cylinder right now because of the air pressure. So you'll need to loosen up the gauge and release the air that way, or you can shoot it down. I, I prefer to go ahead and just remove and just crack open the pressure gauge. That way it's allowing air pressure to escape from the cylinder. And we'll go ahead and let that bleed all the way down. And then we'll go ahead and proceed. We now have the cylinder empty of air pressure. One thing that you might want to look at as you're removing this is the depth that this was actually screwed into the cylinder. Uh, it, that's important because whenever you put this cap back on, you'll want to basically line up the probe hole with the cylinder, the, the cap itself, and you want to make sure that whenever this is all the way flush, that those two are not out of sequence, that they're lined up. I take a, a tool that I can put in the hole. It's not going to go all the way through because I don't want it actually, I don't want to scratch the, the shroud unit here. So the, the tool itself, I'll put it in and I'll, I'll start turning. Now in this case right here, it's turning very, fairly easy. And at one point, you should be able to take and remove it with your, your fingers. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and I'll examine the O-rings just to make sure that I didn't do any damage. Inside, you have a brass piece. There is a uh, valve there that has a place for a flathead screwdriver. You need to remove this whenever you're trying to replace that O-ring. And there's been times whenever I'm taking that brass piece out that I'll have to put some heat on it. A lot of times they'll put a, a little bit of Loctite in that area. Uh, once you secure it down, uh, they don't want it to move and back out. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the brass piece out. It's a little filter is what it is. Remove that and it actually now I've got that removed. So here's that, the piece that I removed. You'll look inside and you'll see that there's a washer. And so you'll wanna go ahead and take that washer out and lay that aside. We're at the point we're gonna go ahead and remove the, the piston. I'm gonna take the probe that comes with the gun. I'm gonna go ahead and, and push the piston in. I'll attach it to my dive bottle. And I'm gonna go ahead and point this in a downward position against the table here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my dive bottle. Uh, I should hear a little pop is what I should hear. I'll make sure that the valve is closed. There we go. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and replace this O-ring here. Uh, this O-ring is uh, just a very common O-ring. This is a pretty hard O-ring, so there's some in individuals that can actually pop the O-ring into place with just their fingers. I find it easier using the tools that I've created. I'm gonna lock that into place. I'm gonna take a pick and I'm going to, I'm gonna take the O-ring off the piston. There we go, I popped it off. I'll take the new O-ring. Here's the tool that I actually made. And uh, it's a little cone, it has a little cutout. And the cutout actually is going to slide right over the piston. Put just a little bit of lubricant on, just on the tool itself. And I'll just set it there and I'll push straight down. And it snaps into place. You can look at it to make sure that it, everything is in good shape. No scratches. Uh, the O-ring, of course, is a new O-ring, so I know that's in good shape. So we'll go ahead and reverse the process. Wouldn't be a bad idea just to go ahead and take the probe, put it back in, and blow uh, in case there's any kind of particles. Like okay, let's clean that up a little bit, making sure there's no particles inside that valve. So whenever you're putting it back in, it's going to be, drop in just like, like so. The washer just drops into place. Then we'll take the brass piece. I recommend a, threat, a Loctite of some sort. Uh, I don't go extreme on the Loctite on these pieces because you might want to replace it again and you want to get this brass piece out. Drop this into the valve itself, like so. Usually I, I say go flush with the, uh, the brass piece that we unscrewed. If you, if you go flush, you're probably gonna be in pretty good shape. So we're done putting the valve piece together. Put a little bit of lubricant on the O-rings. I'll go ahead and put this valve piece 
back in. Something that might help you whenever you're putting your valve back into the cylinder is go ahead and uh, screw in your gauge. As you're tightening up the gauge, the valve piece itself will start moving, which makes it a little easier to install. Remember, at the beginning of this repair, uh, when taking this valve out, I said, keep an eye on the lower O-ring and make sure you know where it was at. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and screw this all the way in and it, actually you'll lose the O-ring. And at this point, you'll want to take the cap and you'll want to put it on just to see if uh, you've gone down too far. Okay, you want to make sure that the probe slides in easy. In this case, I know that I've gone too far. And so I'll need to actually set and, and back this out a little bit. So with my tool, I'll go ahead and back this valve out. I'll lock it into place. Now that looks pretty good. So I'm thinking that probe should slide right in easy. It does, it slides in easy. I know that I have uh, the right depth. I'm ready to go ahead and tighten up the, the gauge. Uh, to tighten the gauge up, I'll go ahead and take the tool that we were using. Uh, I'll take this, hold it, hold it in place, take the valve, and I'll tighten it up just snug. Looks like we're ready to go ahead and uh, fill the cylinder up. I'm going to top it off, and I'm going to put this into the red. It's got about 220 in it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on. This cap, it snaps all the way on. So. Uh, whenever you snap it all the way down, that's where you want to make sure that the hole is aligned correctly. Well, there we have it. We replaced the one-way valve inlet O-ring. Very simple procedure, something that I think anyone can do. Fantastic rifle. Uh, take a look at some of our other videos on this rifle. Until then, see you, see you later.